Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. In this video, we are going to study what is the necessity of starter. Basically, starter is nothing but a device which starts the motor. The device is necessary because if it is not used, then the motor will be directly connected to the rated current. This at starting current is very high. If such high current is allowed to flow in the motor, then the motor will get damaged. Hence, in this video, we are going to study what is the necessity of start. We know that the equation for the voltage of the DC motor is given by V is equal to EB minus IARA. If we rearrange the equation to find the value of armature current IA, we get IARA is equal to V minus EB. If we take this RA on this side of equation, we get IA is equal to V minus EB divided by RA. Here, IA is the armature current, V is the supply voltage, RA is equal to armature resistance, EB is equal to back EMF. Now, when we are just starting the motor, at that time the speed is zero. Hence, the back EMF is also zero because there is a relation between speed and back EMF which is given by N is directly proportional to EB by phi. At starting, the speed of the motor is zero. Hence, the back EMF is also zero. If we substitute the value of EB is equal to zero in equation two, we get IA is equal to V divided by RA. Now, the supply voltage is almost constant. Hence, the armature current basically depends upon the armature resistance RA. The value of armature resistance is very low. Hence, at starting, if the value of armature resistance is low, the very high current will flow through the armature of the DC motor. For example, if the supply voltage is 230 volt and the value of armature resistance is 0.5 ohm, then let us see what will be the value of armature current. If the value of V is 230 volt and the value of RA is 0.5 ohm and we substitute these values in equation 4, then the value of armature current will be 460 ampere. This high value of armature current, if allowed to flow through the armature winding, the brushes, commutator as well as the winding of armature will get damaged. Hence, at starting, we have to limit the starting current. In order to limit the starting current, we can see that our current is inversely proportional to resistance. So, if we increase the value of resistance, the value of current will go on decreasing. This procedure is required only at the starting because once the motor starts rotating, the speed will go on increasing. As the speed goes on increasing, back EMF will also go on increasing. Once the back EMF comes into picture, the back EMF itself will control the armature current. Hence, at starting, we require to control the value of armature current by increasing the resistance of the armature. For doing this, a series resistance is connected in series with the armature. At starting, the value of resistance is high. As the motor speed goes on increasing, the value is slowly decreased up to it gets the enough speed and due to this enough speed, the enough amount of back EMF is built up. Once we get the required value of back EMF, the back EMF itself will control the armature current. Hence, when the back EMF is as per the required value, the starting resistance connected in series with the armature is cut out and the motor is run at the rated armature resistance. In this way, we can control the speed of DC motor. Thank you friends for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda. Thank you.